St. John the Evangelist Catholic Church in Jackson, Michigan proudly presents one of its Faith Formation Discipleship Series, Catholicism 201, Diving Deeper into All Things Catholic, Praying the Parish Forward, Insights and Practice of Intercessory Prayer. I will be your host, Todd Gale. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello, my us. friends, and welcome back to Praying the Parish Forward. Today, we're, we're going to just walk through a couple techniques to use praying with a rosary. Um, and in a way that I, this might be very old news for some folks and for others, it's, it's a different way of doing it. But I want to show you how we can use um, the rosary, not only in a meditative prayer, but also very contemplative and, and then leading into intercession. So the way that we could do all of that, and again, meditative prayer is using the mind and the imagination. Contemplative prayer is more of receiving, just sort of being with the Lord and, and just listening and, and being with him. And then intercession is when we pray for others and we actively engage. So we're going to meditate on the luminous mysteries of the rosary with the transfiguration. We're just going to center on that one mystery. So we're, we're going to pray it three times. The first 10 Hail Marys, I want you to imagine the scene as if you are really there from the apostles' point of view. Right? Maybe you're one among um, Peter, James, and John, and you're an, an additional disciple that's there. And Jesus has called them up on the mountain. And as they're gathered there, Jesus is transfigured before them. He, he reveals the godliness, the, 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 the God of, of Jesus, of God the Son, like peekaboos through his flesh. And they, and they see him for who he really truly is. And then Moses and Elijah appears. And imagine what's the reaction of Peter and the others? What's your reaction? And what conversation do you have with Peter, with the other boys, or, or even with Jesus or Moses and Elijah? Like, do you talk directly to them? So this first... Um, this first decade, let's just really concentrate on that meditative moment of being there. All right. Now, this isn't very long. Um, I would recommend that you do this longer than this, but this is just the way to kind of teach. All right. And we're just going to pray that the Our Father and the Hail Marys and the Glory Be. So, again, the luminous mystery, the transfiguration. Um, and imagine that you're really there and you have a conversation with Jesus and the others. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. So again, you may need a little longer time to really get into, um, a, you know, a true meditation where you're really kind of lost in the moment. But now we're going to pray it again. And this time, I want you to imagine specific people in our parish, specific people that you know and your family and, and that and go to our, our parish, gathered up on that mountain with you. And they are there with the disciples and you, and they're witnessing the transfiguration. They're seeing who Christ really is, right? They have an encounter with Jesus, and you are interacting with them, and you're talking with them. And as they see the glory of the Lord shining through his human body, right, have a dialogue What's happening? What's happening within you? Like, d does this strengthen your belief? Do you see now? Are you in love with Jesus, right? Have that conversation with them as we pray again the same mystery with a, a little different meditation. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now this time, we're going to pray again, but we're going to kind of move this into a time of intercession. I want you to first take a moment to write down 10 names of 10 people you want to pray for, specifically for them to be transformed and for them to be transfigured, not just watching Jesus, but it happens within themselves that they are transfigured, that they get so close to the power of God that God shines through them. Who do you want this to happen to, right? So write down 10 names, and, and if you need to pause this, you can do that. And with each Hail Mary, we're going to insert the name of that person as we're visualizing them being transformed and transfigured. So at, at the end of each Hail Mary, we'll say, Hail Mary, Mother of God, or, or we'll say, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for so-and-so now and at the hour of their death. Pray for such-and-such such now and at the hour of their death. Now, I'm not going to say a name because it might confuse you. So I'm going to let you insert the names of the 10 people as we, as we pray this one more time. All right. Do we get that? We're interceding. We're, we're specifically interceding, going down the list. So, so let's begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for now and at the hour of their death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for now and at the hour of their death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for now and at the hour of their death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for now and at the hour of their death. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for now and at the hour of their death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for now and at the hour of their death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for now and at the hour of their death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for now and at the hour of their death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for now and at the hour of their death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for her now and at the hour of their death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. All right. Now, take those people before the, the Lord, right, and offer them to the Lord. And then just, just listen. listen. Take that list of names and ask the Lord, Lord, how do you want me to pray for them? How do you want me to pray for them to be transfigured? Lord, teach me. How should I intercede, right? And if your mind is distracted, just give it to Jesus. Ask him to help with the distraction and listen. Now, remember our, our identity. We're chosen children. We're adopted. We're not just an image and a likeness, but Christ is in us. And he raises us up to be more and more like him. You are not just an I. You are not just an individual. You are a we. The both and, right? The paradox. You are distinctly you, but also you're part of the body of Christ. You're part of one family. You're part of the one Catholic apostolic church. You're in relationship with Jesus. So at, at first, prayer might feel like work. It might feel like a duty. It might feel like just get her done. But as the Holy Spirit enters into us more deeply, as our conversation with Christ goes deeper, prayer is going to become more and more a part of us. We slowly believe more and more. We slowly believe more and more of who we are, the beloved of God. So we prayed for priests. We prayed for those who are on, on fire to be deeply stirred up. Now I'd like you to pray for those in, in our parish that are lukewarm. They, they kind of believe. They believe some, but their belief has not been moved into genuine action or, or worship. Pray for God to transform and transfigure them with his true presence. And this time we have some homework. We'd like you to intercede for our families of second graders that are preparing for First Holy Communion. Um, pray for the kiddos, pray for their parents, and pray for the folks coming in through OCIA, coming into the church at Easter. Um, so those of you that are uh, connected to this in real time, I know some of you may be watching this sometime later, uh, but I, I will send um, uh, in the immediate uh, future here, I will send just a list of first names for you to pray with. 
So if you could do that, we would greatly appreciate it as we pray and intercede for our families and for those that are coming into the church. Amen. I hope you're finding this fruitful. We're loving it. Our the live sessions have just been absolutely wonderful. And there is, there's much more to come. God bless you all. See you soon. Thank you, friends, for joining us with this episode of Praying the Parish Forward.